I'm going to show you how to make a value scale and an intensity scale. And on the back of my dried color wheel, I labeled value scale. And that means from light to dark. And intensity scale goes from bright to dull. So what I have here, I have my paints. I'm going to start out with my value scale. I need white and then just any color. So maybe I'll use red. Red's one of my favorite colors. And I'm going to mix my colors with a knife. And I'm actually going to paint my value scale with a knife as well. So I start with the white. And I add just a tiny, tiny bit of red to it. Just a little tiny dab. And I mix it all in. And I should end up with a very pale pink. So I mix it well. And then I use my knife and I put down that pale pink. It's so pale that it's hard to see. And then I add a little more red, mix it in. So I'm going from light to dark. And the rule when you're mixing colors is you always start with the weak color. So I would take white first and I would add the paint to it little by little. All right, so there's my number two value and I add another tiny blob just a little at a time. I want every little rectangle of paint to be slightly redder, which also means darker because red is a dark color compared to white. So I just keep adding little bits at a time. My value scale should just keep getting redder and redder. And again, you can be painting right along with me to save time. You don't have to watch this and then, and then do it. Just paint with me. Mix colors along with me to be more time efficient. Now I can hardly tell the difference so I'm going to add a little more red to that one because it looks about the same as the one before it. That's better. I can see it's a little redder. So I just keep adding more red, little by little. Every little rectangle of paint should be slightly redder. Now, some people, when they make a value scale, they also add black to it. So I could start at this end, like with the pure black. And, but I, I don't want to do that. I just, because most people don't use a lot of black. And actually, I, some art teachers don't even put black paint out for students because it's such a powerful shade and it can overpower painting really easily and you can get darks values by violets. Violet is a very dark value. So that one is darker than that one. I just keep now I'm going to end up at the bottom with just the pure red. So I'm getting close to the bottom of my piece of paper. There we go. And I think I have room for one more rectangle down here of just the pure color. So I'm going to get that pure color and just put it down. There we go. That looks good. So there's my value scale, light, light to dark. All right, so now I'm going to wipe off my knife. Remember to have newspaper down. It will save you a lot of time. You don't have to run to the sink. And I'm going to swish it in my blue bucket, which I have right over here. You can't see it, but I'm going to clean at my table. It really saved me a lot of time. I use my paper towel, you know, to clean my knife so it's nice and clean. Now I'm going to do my intensity scale. So I'm going to go from bright to dull. I have to use complements. So I decided I'm going to use yellow and violet. And I know to mix a violet, I need warm blue and cool red. So I marked my paper plate so I could remember because remember, the, especially the blue, it's hard to tell the warm from the cool, so it's a good idea to label your paper plate. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put down just a pure yellow on one end that's clean. And then I'm going to clean my knife 
wipe off, wipe off, wipe off. On my newspaper, you can't see it, but I'm wiping off. And I'm going to now mix my violet. So remember, when you mix colors, you always start with the weak color, add the strong color. Red is weaker than blue, so I'm going to add the blue a little bit, and I'm going to mix up a violet. And that, to me, is a red violet, so I need more blue. I'm trying to mix violet. Still a little bit, I'd say, of a red violet, so I'll add a little more blue. There we go. It's a nice violet. I like that violet. Now, violet is a really dark color and strong. I'm going to put my pure violet down, and I'm going to put it, I think I'll put it a little thin, so just so you can see that it's violet. If I put it on really thick, it almost dries black. So here I have a beautiful violet. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take just a tiny bit of violet. So I'm going to wipe off my knife because I just want the smallest amount. Just a tiny, tiny bit. I'm going to clean my knife. And I'm going to add this violet to my yellow. And I'm going to add just a little bit because it's so strong. See how small? And I'm going to... Add just a tiny, tiny bit of violet. And again, you don't have to use violet and yellow. You can use orange and blue. You can use red and green. You just have to use complements. So you look at your color wheel on the other side, two colors that are crossed from each other. So now I put down, this yellow is slightly duller, can you see it, than the yellow before, and it, almost golden. Now I'm going to add another tiny dab of violet, just tiny dab. See how small that is? Because I want it just to gradually go from bright to dull. And what happens is I get kind of a golden, it almost looks like mustard, kind of a golden brown. And I mix it well, and then I put down the next, which is slight whoa I did not I did not have that mixed well in my knife and it got like a purple streak let's see that's mixed right there. there we go a golden brown again I add another small dab of purple or violet violet's the proper term that artists generally use and now I have like a starting to turn kind of golden brown You see how that's getting, okay, keep adding little by little. Now the reason you mix with a knife rather than a brush is, well, it does a better job. And also mixing with a brush, it's hard on your brush. It, the bristles of the brush get just jammed full a paint and then you have to spend so much time cleaning it to get that that paint out of those bristles so just keep adding violet a little at a time mix well All right, so now for this square, this is my pure violet clean. This is my pure yellow. This is going to be quite close to violet, it's going to, but it's going to be duller. This last rectangle is going to be just a little bit of a dull violet. Let's look at that. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, there we go. We have our value scale and intensity scale. It took me nine minutes to do that. Put it on the drying rack and clean up your knife and check it in with me. Thank you.